Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Mohamed El Zayedi from ESC Kralmo Business School. I'm really happy to be back with you again today for uh, this second episode of the series that we have hosted in ESC Kralmo Business School. Today's topic and title is Make It Right, where we get to cover many important aspects that you need to keep into account in order to make the best out of your academic and professional experience when you decide to study abroad and to join ESC Clermo Business School. So today I'm very happy to host uh, my colleagues Angel Pradier and Puri Aloysius during this session. Hello, my name is Angel. I'm an intern at the International Relations Department. Uh, and with my colleague, I'm in charge of the recruitment of the international students. So I'm also uh, happy to have uh, Puri today. So Puri, could you introduce yourself? Uh, thank you, Mohammed. So um, I'm Puri and I'm a recent uh, bachelor graduate. And I'm currently doing my work study in um, ESC Clermont as a project assistant in quality and accreditation and with the international office. Um, so whilst simultaneously doing my master's in management. I'm uh, really happy to have both of my guests today. So thank you both for having introduced yourselves. Uh, so yeah, one of the most uh, well common points that we all have together is that we are all, uh, we have all m obtained uh, experience abroad. We have all done foreign studies and lived in another country. So in my case, I'm originally from Egypt and I've been living in France for a couple of years now. Um, Angel, for you, you have lived previously in the United States. Puri, she's originally from Sri Lanka and she's lived in Bahrain. And now she moved to France. So as you can see, we are all having very international profiles. And that's why, you know, our guidance and advice will be extremely relevant to you. So moving on to the questions. So um, the first uh, thing that comes into some of um, our students and candidates' minds is how do I get to choose what I want to study? Mm -hmm. So you have different sources to look at. You can check out our brochures. They are available online. So you'll see the program with the courses and minors and majors, the requirements. You can also check out our videos that are available on these channels uh, about our different programs. And you can also uh, contact our current and former uh, students on LinkedIn to ask about their experience in the school and uh, why they choose the program. Uh, I believe it is important to do a thorough research because uh, you need to make a choice based on your passion, but also on how it will help you in your future job. And you can also check uh, job descriptions uh, or professionals on LinkedIn in order to select pr program fits best for your professional project. Excellent. So uh, once, um, Angel, once the students have managed to figure out what is the kind of industry or what is the kind of studies that they would like to seek, what is the immediate next step after choosing so the program that is relevant to what they're looking for? Okay, so first step, you need to verify your eligibility. It's extremely important. You can go on our website. It's also uh, in the brochure. For example, uh, in most of our program, we ask for a certain level of English. So you will need to uh, provide a level of uh, TOEFL. We ask for 550. You need to check out, for example, uh, if you have enough credit score. And then the second step will be to complete your application online on our website where you will be required to upload several documents. Uh, we require, for example, the letter of recommendation, motivation, ID, CV, diplomas, the transcript, and of course, as I said, uh, the proof of language. So as, f uh, as far as um, the process of what we call the Campus France process is concerned, uh, Puri, so once the students have managed to choose the program that they're applying for and they apply for it. So what do they have to do next? Do they need to do a separate uh, process in parallel related to Campus France in particular? So um, once you have received your admission letter, you will have to reach out to Campus France and you will have to do an interview with them. Um, it is um, 
It is really important that you prepare thoroughly for this interview and do not forget to take all the required documents. And so the next uh, step in the journey would be to apply for the visa in the embassy where uh, the students are located. So what is the procedure that is necessary to obtain the visa and what is the delay that the students need to keep in to account when they are addressing so the embassy in order to obtain their student visa? Um, you make sure that you have your documents ready and that includes your bank statements, your enrollment certificate as well as your housing certificate and any other documents that um, rec that's mentioned on the checklist. So as far as the um, process is completed in terms of applications and admission, so the students will obviously need to settle in uh, France. So when it comes to uh, the accommodation, it's of course one of the most important things is for students to be well settled in the foreign country that they are moving to, France in that case. So how does the accommodation hunt work? How is it uh, like? So Clermont is a very uh, popular student city. So uh, accommodation is in high demand and it is advisable to secure an accommodation before your arrival in France. So we have partner residences and uh, another partner called Moversa. Everything will be written on your enrollment letter. They can help you uh, secure an accommodation. You can also uh, check out offers on a popular uh, small ads website called, called Le Bon Coin. However, be mindful because, of course, there, there could be scams. And um, you can also check out another webinar that we did that's on this channel um, that's dedicated to uh, only accommodation. And the, dis uh, the link will be in the description box below. Okay, great. Yeah, we do remind you that in the description box of the YouTube video, you will find uh, different links that are uh, important for you to see. And uh, yeah, they will be covering also different areas that we won't be able to fully go through during this webinar. So don't forget to check the description box and to go through all of those uh, links. Um, another important question that we are often asked a lot, especially you know, when we meet with the students before they come in their foreign countries, do I need to learn French? Is it obligatory or is it required or is it recommended? So in your experience, Angel, uh, do students need to learn French before they come to join the school? Yes, it is really important to learn French before coming. We advise you to take crush courses back home uh, as it could be a little cheaper than here. And m most of your courses might not be in French. However, it is important to learn it because it will be easier for you to advance uh, it will help you integrate better, make friends better. Uh, it will be easier for all the administrative procedures, etc. Um, and it is, we believe it is the biggest ingredient to uh, success. So we would like to remind the students that um, f uh, French is not required. You are not obliged to learn before coming to our school. Because you see all the courses obviously are available in English. So we have many of the departments, if not all, they speak English. They can communicate with you easily. Your international classmates also, you'll be able to communicate with them. But like Angel said, if you want to grow in the country, if you want to settle over here, if you want to find job opportunities, if you want to integrate very well, then of course, knowing French is extremely important. And that's why we encourage you so to learn beforehand and not to push it for when you come later over here and when you reach uh, the country. So uh, Angel, if you can tell us about your experience in the States, so how was it in terms of learning English over there? Uh, for me, it was uh, easy because I've learned English in high school and middle school, so it was a little bit easier. It's an international language, but I would say by the third month I was almost completely bilingual and it helped me a lot to have uh, some bases uh, before coming, especially for school work and to communicate with people at the store or during administrative procedures. 
Yeah, so I guess the fact that you learned beforehand also was helpful for you to accelerate in your progress in terms of the fluency of the language once you've reached over there and you got the chance to meet with the people and to talk to them and to really uh, improve uh, your uh, foreign language level. Mm -hmm. And uh, for you, Puri, how was the experience like when learning French? Had you started before coming to the country? How was the experience generally like when it comes to learning the French language? Prior to my arrival in France, I had taken a few French courses and um, then I continued through self-study and currently I'm taking uh, French classes at UCR. So yeah, we remind students that of course once they reach into, f into the French territory, once they arrive to France, they will have French courses and we also encourage them to integrate to the different student associations. And we are also having a partnership with the public university and with the private center which is called Cavillam for extra French courses. And so for the next point, when it comes to admin administrative formalities and processes to be followed in France, what can you walk us through those administrative uh, formalities? So prior to your arrival in France, um, you should apply for a CVEC, which is the Student and Campus Life Contribution. This is a contribution fee that's decided by the government and um, to promote uh, social, health, cultural, and um, sports support and assistance for the students. Secondly, you would have to do uh, create a French bank account. And in order to um, make this account, you need to have a French um, phone number. And thirdly, you'll have to um, register for security, so social security, which is the French healthcare system. And um, the government pays 70%. Um, and if you'd like to, for uh, your complete insurance to... Um, to complement um, it with another insurance, let's yeah, say. Yeah. And um, uh, then there's CAF, which is a housing assistant where a student is eligible. Um, the CAF offers student housing assistance. And this allows to reduce your housing cost. Yeah, so it's a housing aid that is provided by the French government to help international students pay for their uh, monthly rent. And um, when it comes to the items that students are kind of uh, advised to bring from their home country, what should they keep uh, into account? What are the items that are they're supposed to bring? Okay, so um, the most important document that you shouldn't forget are your documents, um, your birth certificate, the original as well as uh, one translated in French, um, your passport, um, the devices that you would require for school, um, your laptop, and a suitable adapter if your charging pin is different. Make sure you pack smart according to your baggage allowance. Make sure you take everything you need. Do not forget your medicines, and if you require a prescription, carry it with you. Yeah, because for some of the medicines, the pharmacies are uh, actually obliging so the people to have a relevant prescription for it. So moving to um, another point. Um, so when the students, so they reach uh, France, when they reach uh, their new destination, uh, how much can they expect to spend uh, on the living expenses in the city of Clermont? Okay, so regarding living expenses, including rent, food, and every bills, uh, we estimate approximately that you will need uh, 550 to 800 per month, depending on your lifestyle and the type of accommodation that you will rent. And you need to be careful because during the first month, uh, you will need extra money for uh, deposits, rental deposits, uh, connecting electricity, gas, phone, uh, and all, all, uh, everything you will need for your flat. And we also advise to exchange currency back home and to uh, carry at least 1,000 euros in cash uh, before your arrival. And you can also take uh, your credit card uh, from back home. However, you need to talk to your banker about possible uh, international withdrawal fees. Uh, finally, so uh, what is the biggest advice 
that you could give to the students in order to make the best out of their experience? I would say first point is to arrive prior to the start of your classes uh, because you will need time to do uh, the whole administrative procedures uh, that my colleague talked about. And also the school organizes uh, preterm meetings and events, so uh, you need to be there before classes. And second one is that you need to be very open-minded because you'll be in another country that you might not know. You'll meet new people from many countries, so you need to be open-minded about the culture, uh, about languages, etc. And you can do your research about, for example, the uh, style of teaching because it might not be the same as your home country. And you could also do some research uh, about the business world in France. Yeah, because it's true that uh, moving to another country, uh, flexibility and adapting and, you know, getting to really um, fit into the new culture is something that is extremely important and that we uh, are fostering in our business school. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's it. That's, uh, those are all the points that we wanted to go cover in uh, today's discussion. So I would like to uh, thank my colleagues once again for all the extremely helpful and useful insight that they have shared with the public due throughout this uh, session today. Uh, so we hope that you enjoyed uh, the webinar and that you got the chance to um, get valuable advice and uh, feedback from uh, my colleagues and myself today. Uh, you are also able to get in touch with us through the different channels so email whatsapp phone calls whatsoever social media and we are going to be extremely happy to accompany you in realizing your uh, dreams your dream studies in our business school so thank you very much to everyone thank you angel for your presence today and i'll be looking forward to uh, the next session thank you for having us so thank you very much uh, once again uh, so it was a pleasure to have uh, both of you. Thank you, Puri, for being there. Thank you for having me. And yeah, we are uh, very happy to uh, bring this discussion to an end and we are really looking forward to the next session. Have a great day and see you very soon.